guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you get notified every time i post a video so today's video is not the video that i had planned for today but i have been wanting to show you guys the bounty of seafood that we have in our ocean a lot of people don't know that we actually have this on the south african coast so i wanted to show you guys and so before we get started with the video though, I do want to say that I'm not in South Africa. I am in a country where it is perfectly legal and allowed to have fresh abalone in your house. So let's get into it. A lot of South Africans have actually never seen or touched or even tasted abalone before. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's raw, how to clean it, how to prepare it and how to cook it and how to eat it. And in here we have crayfish and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to how to cook and prepare how to prepare and cook crayfish. Okay, so this is abalone, abalone or perle moon or ingoba in this course and this is what it basically looks like and in south africa it is illegal to remove wild abalone from the ocean and that's because the number the poaching rate has gone up so high that abalone is running the risk of extinction and we are running out of the abalone population in our coastline so you're not allowed to have this unless it's legally farmed which you can get uh, there aren't many abalone farms in south africa but they do exist and in my village we're also not allowed to catch and have abalone that is why i say that i am not in south africa i am in a country where it is perfectly legal to have this and the reason why abalone poaching has gone up so high is because a large number of the people in those coastal towns are unemployed most live below the poverty line and so it has become a way to make quick money even though it's not quick money but um people can earn a living through selling poached abalone now let's move on to the actual cleaning and preparing of the abalone and i'm going to show you guys how to clean it and then i'm having cooked and raw abalone i'm going to show you guys how to prepare so we're doing abalone chewers You want to be pretty gentle when you do this because you don't want to take up too much of the meat and all of the abalone is basically edible so i wouldn't go too far when cleaning this and then just rinse it off and you'll see for me that's perfectly fine but if you like you can clean a lot more around the black stuff but i think it's fine okay so it's pretty easy to remove from the shell and you kind of want to get underneath and that's basically it and that's out and the shells are absolutely gorgeous they're absolutely beautiful so you can keep these and use them to store jewelry and that sort of thing they're absolutely gorgeous and that is what it looks like and this is known as the butt of the abalone which is probably the best part these are the innards and they are edible you can eat these just clean them out and that's basically how you get it out and that is it the most prized and sought after seafood in asia okay so the first thing we're gonna do is kind of remove that part which is known as the teeth of the abalone and there they are yeah, so this part is quite firm the texture of raw abalone is um it's a bit crunchy actually very crunchy and quite firm so you want to slice it very thinly but this part is quite firm and then we're gonna go ahead and slice it very thinly we're making sashimi so very thin slices.
one for the ship. Mm. It's very briny and salty, but it doesn't need any seasonings to go with it. So you can just have it as it is. But I am going to serve it with an oyster and sesame sauce. Um, it's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. And as you can see, it's pretty soft. Really outstanding. <laughs> Okay, so for the next one, we are going to fry it and basically you just slice it into the thicker pieces and the ones that we did before because we're cooking this one and that one fell away for me. Mm, it's so sweet. Like, you know when people say that seafood is sweet and briny? I think Abelone just completely embodies that. Once you've um, sliced your abalone, because it can be quite tough, you kind of want to bash it with the back of a knife and just tenderize it. It's basically what it looks like when it's tenderized. You can see it's very soft and it's very flexible. And this is what it's like when it's not tenderized. So you need to do this for it to be edible because the pieces are quite chunky. But for sashimi, it's very different because it's very thinly sliced and there isn't much chewing involved. So once you've tenderized your abalone, you just wanna, this is one egg, beaten egg. And in here, I've got about a quarter cup of flour, which I've seasoned with salt and white pepper and keeping it very simple because we don't wanna mask the flavor of the abalone. And then just gonna dip it in some egg, bread it with some flour, and we're gonna fry it in butter. Okay, so there you have it. Abalone two ways, hot and cold. Um, I wouldn't say that I prefer either. Like, I like both equally. And I just think that the raw abalone is pure flavor. It's very sweet. It's very briny. So maybe if you're new to abalone, it might put you off, especially the texture, which is very crunchy. But me, I honestly love both because this one's also very... It's very nice and tender compared to the raw one, but I wouldn't choose. <laughs> I honestly would not choose. Now, getting to the price of abalone, um, do I think it's worth the price? No, I don't. I honestly do not. And I think the only reason it's so pricey is because it's so rare to find. But other than that, I think there are more tastier types of seafood out there. And this one is, is, it's good, but I mean, compared to lobster, compared to prawns, I love prawns. Um, I would think I would, I would rate it at six out of 10. Yeah, that's my, that's my take on abalone. I hope you guys. Okay, so up next we're making crayfish curry and a lot of people said I should make crayfish curry when I asked what I should make and one person was like, don't make curry. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I decided to make a crayfish curry anyway and this is absolutely one of my favorite creatures in the ocean. It is so tasty and the price for this is definitely justified it deserves more money actually because it's so good so what we're gonna do we're doing tail and the head in our curry and you kind of want to go between the eyes there's like a line that goes between the eyes right there and that's basically where you want to go and then go all the way down and there's a line that goes across like that and there's one that goes across like that and it's sort of like a guide as to where you should go so we're gonna start there just make sure that you've got a firm grip on it so that your knife does not 
sounds all and then I'm go across like that all the way to the tail. The head is quite spiny, so just be careful. And that's basically what, what it should be like once you get it out. And yeah, and that's it. We're keeping it as it is. We're not going to remove anything from it. It's, this is actually the good part. So you want to leave that as is. But I am going to cut it in the middle here. And then just make sure that you have the tail and you have the head on one side. And there you have it pretty simple i'm gonna do the rest and then we're gonna get started on the curry paste okay so to make the curry paste i've got one large red chili seeds in this is quite a mild chili so it's fine you can use two or three but i'm keeping it mild because i'm eating with kids and i've got one large onion and i've got a two cloves of garlic and i've got a piece of ginger and i'm just gonna puree that into a paste and then we're gonna get started on our curry okay so to start we're gonna start with some desiccated coconut and we're just gonna toast this in a warm pan about three tablespoons Oh, our coconut is nice and nutty. It's toasted. We're gonna go ahead and add our curry base. And you wanna cook this over really mild heat so that you can affect all the flavors without burning anything. Okay, so that's been cooking for a little bit and we're gonna add some ground cumin not a lot we don't want to overpower our crayfish and keep this really mild and then we're gonna add some garam masala quite a bit of it and then we're gonna add a tiny bit of coriander And finally, we're going to add a bit of turmeric, just a tiny bit. I'm going to cook that, make sure the spices are nice and fragrant. Okay, and then we're going to go in with some tomato puree. And then we are going to add a bit of water. Cook this down for a little bit. Okay, so next we're going to add about a Two tablespoons of low fat plain yogurt. You can use cream if you like, but I prefer it like this. And then we're gonna go in with our crayfish. nice and coated and then we're gonna let this simmer for around 10 minutes and it should be lovely and done okay so that is looking good to me just gonna finish it with a squeeze of lemon juice and then garnish it with some chopped coriander 
and there you have it coconut crayfish curry tastes amazing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so for the second set of crayfish, I am going to be frying this. And I've just made a butter to go with it. And this is 60 grams of melted butter with a finely crushed clove of garlic, teaspoon of oregano, and I've got uh, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, paprika and um, half a teaspoon of onion powder. <laughs> and then I'm just going to brush my crayfish with this before taking it to the grill. Okay, so there you have it, a crayfish feast, uh, you've got grilled crayfish and you've got crayfish curry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and you learned something about the seafood that we have in our oceans. I hope you one day get to taste some of these because they're absolutely amazing. Me, personally, I'm a huge fan of crayfish. I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment, and send it to everyone you know so that they can watch my video and they can subscribe to my channel. See you guys on the next one.